Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that 19 employees of a company take an aptitude test and the scores out of 40 are illustrated in the stem and leaf diagram below. And we've got to find the median score for one mark and in part B, the interquartile range for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the numerical answers then are for part A, the median is 33. And for part B, the interquartile range is 16. Now, if you didn't get these answers, just want to see how to do it. I'll just take you through the work solution. So first of all, then, if we're trying to find the median in part A, what we need to do is find its position. Remember, the position of a median, often denoted by Q2, for the median, that is, OK? If we just put that in here, the position of the median Q2, well, that's the middle value. And to find the middle value when you've got n values for a discrete distribution, you add 1 to how many values you've got and then divide by 2. So we end up with the median being the 10th value. Now it doesn't matter whether you come in from the lower end or the upper end, you'll still arrive at the same value. So what's that value going to be? Well if we take this value, 7, then we've got, that's the first value, then we go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The tenth value is going to be there and it will be 33 according to this key up here. So therefore what we've got is the median which is Q2 is equal to 33. Now for the next part we've got to find the interquartile range. And to get the interquartile range, remember you've got to find the lower quartile and the upper quartile. And then the interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So we need to get the positions of both the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So in other words, the lower quartile, often called Q1, and the upper quartile, is often called Q3. And we're going to find out what those positions are from the ends. OK, the ends of our table. Well, to do this, if we take the median, which is the 10th value, we've got nine values below it and nine values above it. So to find that position, all we do is we add one to the number of values that we've got and divide by two. And so what we end up with is it's the fifth value in from each of the ends. So therefore, if we're finding Q1, we start at the lower end. This is the first value. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's that 4 there, OK? So that's going to give us the number 24. So therefore, Q1 is equal to 24. When it comes on to Q3, the upper quartile, we come in from the upper end five places. So working from this part here, one, two, three, four, five. It's that value there. In other words, 40. So we end up with Q3 equaling 40. So we're now in a position to therefore get the interquartile range. So we just put in an intro here, interquartile range. And all that's going to be is the upper quartile, 40 then, minus the lower quartile, 24. And that gives us a value of 16. OK. Now, if you want any further help on this, I've got plenty of tutorials and examples on my website. So uh, hopefully you'll look at those then if it's causing you any problems.